Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and in this video, I will be updating you on the possible short squeeze situation that we have here for Ethereum. And I will also be analyzing your most suggested altcoin in the comment section down below, which is Polygon later in this video. So definitely make sure you're watching all the way to the end of the video so that you don't miss out on any of this important information. And just before we jump into it, you might as well leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. But with all of that out of the way, let's get straight to what this video is about so right here on the ethereum to your solar charts on the four hour time frame and obviously we have that previous bullish divergence that i've been talking about over the past few days on the channel but i mentioned in yesterday's ethereum update video right around here that this short-term bullish divergence is about to wear off because we are approaching overbought territories in the rsi and usually these sort of bullish divergences here on the four hour chart only last for a couple days or so before they start to wear off and so that's why i let you know yesterday that it could be likely that would have a short-term call off here and that's basically exactly what we are playing out right now. But here on the daily time frame for Ethereum, we are still holding above the most important Fibonacci level, which is the golden pocket. And that is coming in at just above 2.9K. So even if Ethereum is playing out a short-term call off right now, and even if we come all the way down to these lows again, we would still be looking all right here on the daily time frame, looking at these Fibonacci levels once again. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen. All I'm saying is Ethereum is still well above this golden pocket, which is great to see for the bulls. Because for any beginners out there, the reason why the golden pocket is the most important Fibonacci level is because this is the Fibonacci level that we most commonly see the price turn around at. We most commonly see trend reversals at that Fibonacci level. And don't forget, it was only a few days ago that we saw the Ethereum RSI on the daily time frame enter into oversold territories for the first time in nearly two years. And so this provided us an amazing buying opportunity a few days ago. And considering the prices haven't really moved all that much over the past few days, and especially as we're experiencing a little bit of a short term cool off here, I am still dollar cost averaging into Ethereum and holding for the longer term as in for at least the next few months. And just before we jump into the Polygon Matic analysis, I'll give you another quick update on the short squeeze situation happening over on Ethereum. The subscribers on this channel that have been watching some of my other Ethereum update videos would already know what this chart is. But for anyone new to the channel, the black line here is the Ethereum price on the daily time frame, and the purple line is the estimated leverage ratio, which basically shows us how much leverage people are using in the market at the moment relative to the amount of Ethereum sitting on exchanges. So basically, if we're seeing a major spike to the upside in this purple line, this estimated leverage ratio, that means a lot of people are really leveraging up in the market. So they're basically taking on more and more borrowed money, which is increasing their risk. And as a result of that, after every major spike in this estimated leverage ratio, we see some sort of liquidation event squeezing out all of those over leveraged positions not long after that. And if you want to compare the current situation to anything else that we've seen over the past one to two years, the most similar situation that we've seen to now was back in July 2021. And if you want more information as to why that is the case, definitely check out some of my other Ethereum update videos here on the channel. But anyway, what we saw towards the end of July was a giant short squeeze, which was basically a massive move to the upside in the Ethereum price. And so what we're seeing right now could possibly be the early stages of a short squeeze because we have been moving to the upside over the past few days. And while the Ethereum price has been moving to the upside, we've seen the estimated leverage ratio have a bit of a short term pullback. So basically, if these two lines keep heading in the same direction. So if the estimated leverage ratio keeps dropping off to the downside while the price keeps moving to the upside, then that is exactly the short squeeze that we're looking for. Now jumping into your most suggested altcoin in the comment section down below, which has been Polygon, also known as Matic. So if you have an altcoin that you want me to cover here on the channel, definitely let me know in the comment section down below and I'll get to the most suggested altcoins first. But anyway, this is the Matic to US dollar chart on the daily time frame, and we've got a very important ascending support line. And this line of support is currently coming in at just above $2. So basically, if Matic is holding above this line, we're still looking good here. We're forming higher lows, which is obviously a bullish trend. But if Matic starts breaking below $2, and more importantly, if we start breaking below some of these other lows, then that is how you know we're possibly having a change in the trend. But as of right now, obviously, that is not the case. We are still, at the time of filming this video, holding above that line. And we also have an important level of support for Matic in the daily RSI, as you can see. And this is coming in at around 40 on the daily RSI. So all you need to know about the longer term trends for Matic here on the daily time frame is the fact that we're clearly in a bullish trend. We're making higher highs and higher lows. And as I just said, that will only change if we start breaking below that importance line of ascending support that I just mentioned. But with that being said, when you're zooming into the 12 hour time frame for Matic, what we can see is a possible head and shoulders pattern that is forming right now. First of all, it is important to mention that 
this pattern is not active until we see a right shot of form and a break below the neckline. And by the way, this neckline is coming in at just below $2, more specifically at around $1.95. So obviously that would also require a break below this ascending line of support and a break below this previous low just here to form a new lower low in order to actually confirm this head and shoulders pattern as breaking to the downside. So obviously if we do end up seeing a strong break below $2 after seeing a right shoulder form, then that is clearly a bearish signal. But right now we are not seeing that. So this is just something to keep an eye on at the moment while it's still potentially forming. And now taking a look at Matic versus Bitcoin here on the daily time frame, And what we could see is previously we had a falling wedge pattern, which is a bullish pattern that already broke out to the upside and pretty much hit the price target. And since then, as we were playing out this move to the upside, we were also forming a rising wedge pattern, which is technically a bearish pattern. And already we have broken to the downside. And so technically speaking, the price target for a rising wedge pattern is towards the bottom of the wedge, which is coming in at around 2,600 Satoshis. On top of that, we have also seen a bearish divergence here on the daily time frame for Matic versus Bitcoin, which for the beginners out there, that just means we saw higher highs in the price action, but lower highs in the RSI. And what that actually means for Matic versus Bitcoin is that we're losing this upwards momentum. And so we could be due for at least some sideways price action or perhaps a slight pullback to the downside, which also falls in line with what this rising wedge pattern is suggesting. And something else to consider is the fact that Matic versus Bitcoin has been running into these previous highs that we set back in May 2021. And so obviously those levels will be acting as resistance for Matic and they are coming in at around 5,500 to 6,000 Satoshis. So when you factor in this bearish pattern, this bearish divergence and major resistance just above the price of Matic versus Bitcoin, honestly, I would not be too surprised if we do play out a little bit of a pullback here for Matic versus Bitcoin. And by the way, something like that happening on this chart isn't necessarily bearish for Matic versus the US dollar because a pullback on this chart just means Matic might be underperforming against Bitcoin in the shorter term, which could mean Bitcoin might just be having bigger gains than Matic in the shorter term. But this will also depend on what the Bitcoin dominance is doing, which right now it's sitting at around 40%. And we do have some major supports coming in at around 39 to 39.5%. If the Bitcoin dominance continues to find support here and we see a bit more of a bounce here to the upside, then in that case, as the Bitcoin dominance is rising, it would be even more likely that Matic would see a pullback against Bitcoin. But if we see the Bitcoin dominance break below around 39%, then in that case, that could signal a continuation in this altcoin season. And something like that happening could possibly invalidate all of these bearish signals on this Matic versus Bitcoin chart. Because if we do see a continuation in this altcoin season, the majority of altcoins out there are built on Ethereum. And so whenever we see these major altcoin seasons, the Ethereum transaction fees get crazy high. And that is exactly what gives Matic fundamental value. But as always, when investing into the altcoin space, definitely make sure you're doing your own research and understanding what you're investing in before you actually invest in it. And for bonus crypto content throughout the day, make sure you follow me over on my Twitter. And the link to my Twitter is in the description down below and also in the pinned comment if you want to stay up to date in the crypto markets at all times. If you got anything of value out of this video, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so that you do not miss out on any of these updates that I post every single day. And before you click off, you might as well check out one of these uploads if you haven't already. And as always, I really do appreciate all of your support in the channel at the moment. I can't thank you enough. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video.